Linguistic discrimination is something that almost everyone has experienced or maybe even taken part in, though it's not often recognized. The following clip shows examples of this type of discrimination with some explanations along the way. Okay, what's going on? Wow, what a wacky accent. One common form of discrimination is when speakers of a dominant language say things that trivialize other languages or accents, saying things that imply that other ways of speaking are strange or funny and not to be taken seriously. Okay, all right, slow down, slow down. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what you, I'm sorry? No, I don't. I don't, I don't speak that. Can you just speak uh, normal English? Saying things like this implies that what we are speaking is the proper and valid form of the language. Thus, whatever anyone else is using is automatically wrong. Like, I, I'm not sure what you're getting at. Look, you're not making any sense. Okay, well, I don't really understand you. Sorry. Oftentimes when people say that they don't understand, they're really just saying this because they don't want to try, or don't feel that they should have to. This removes all of their responsibility from the communicative process and leaves fault on the other party. Okay, I, I don't have time for this. So what have we learned? Poking fun at someone's way of speaking may seem benign, but it can set up a language hierarchy where you're at the top. Telling someone to speak correct English means that their way is wrong, but what makes one way of speaking more wrong than another? If there's trouble understanding, is it the problem of the speaker or the listener? Communication isn't just a one-way process, and in order to be successful, some responsibility for understanding should lie on everyone involved. Now let's see how this conversation might have gone with someone a little more willing. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. You... You want something? I'm not sure what it is that you would, uh... Oh, you probably want these cat treats I've been carrying around. Sure thing, pal. Put her there. Congratulations, you two. Communication accomplished.